Star recently saw Spider-Man across the Spider-Man and it was alright. I mean, it was amazing to spy my man right back out. on the big screen I'm right now. So let's get on to the movie. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, playing Daylight Tonight. My name is PJ Game 2000. Please hit the subscribe button and like the video and hit the notification bell because Spider Man Miles Morales, where his name is, is going to attack. So please subscribe, like the video, hit the notification bell. Anyway, let's get on to the review real quick. And it was amazing to see his film. I mean, we all know the sequels do not do so well. Like, for example, Spider-Man 3, Amazing Spider-Man 2, Echo Spider-Man Far From Home. Yeah, let's forget about those movies ever. Is this anyway? And yes, I do watch Spider-Man Big Crashing. I, my first ever Spider-Man movie was Tobey Maguire. He was the one who wanted me to watch all these Spider-Man movies. I went to go see this in theater just by myself with some candy, some soda, some popcorn, all that good stuff. So anyway, we're gonna um, review this movie and see what we get my results. First, the characters. The characters were all likable. Yeah, all of them. Miles Morales is still amazing as ever. He was amazing in the first one. And he was pretty good in this movie. Um, Gwen is back. I mean, I love Gwen. I mean, she was a total baddie in this movie. Like, it's a good movie to watch. She was pretty good. Um, Peter B. Parker was also um, more entertaining. Like Even though he's Spider -Man, now the father figure type, I mean, uh, it's fine, but all right. right. And there's some new characters, like Miguel O'Hara, I mean, he was fine, but I actually feel like he... Uh, I we're not in that here. Yeah. Anyway, and yeah, most of the um, characters are back. They're interesting. They're new Spider people, like... We're going all the way back to Spider-Man No Way Home, I mean, yes! So yeah, but first, let's get to the plot. And Miguel O'Hara, stop attacking Miles Morales. We're trying to do a movie review. Our story begins in right back at Brooklyn, where Miles Morales is going back to the Spider-Verse to meet Gwen and meet all these Tons of different spider peoples to meet Miguel O'Hara. Miguel O'Hara stop Miles Morales just because he didn't want to save his father because he has to go with the timeline, but alright. And yeah, so the plot is awesome. I mean, when I watched it, it was, I was shocked. The plot was pretty awesome, in my opinion, and yeah. And this movie did a little bit better than the first one. I say a little bit because we'll get to that later. Wait, wait. So I I saw so many references. This has some reference from old Spider-Man stuff. I saw Tobey Maguire Spider-Man in here. I saw Andrew Garfield. I saw Tom. I might saw Tom Holland. There's a reference to him for his movie. There's uh more Spider-Man. They never. We get to see Penny, um, Spider-Man from the um 1999 film and the um Spider Ham. Yeah, whatever. He he he's back. Anyway, it was pretty interesting. Like everything about this movie is did a little bit right and a little bit wrong. I mean, this movie kind of made a little impact to me. Like, okay? Um... Yeah, this part was pretty well, and also, I... Never surprised to see a Miles Morales sequel. But... 
when a sequel is there, you know you're gonna get a fire film. It's pretty good, and I saw so many Spider-Man represented, and so many Spider people, but I love it. Anyway, we're done, and now let's get to the con. And this is where I'm gonna talk negative about the movie. My big con with about this movie is the unnecessary plot cliffhanger. Like, why would you put that in this movie? This movie was supposed to be good, but they butcher it with that unnecessary cliffhanger. Why not do the exact same thing as Pirates Can't Bring Out Worlds in and put that whole movie and like Avengers Endgame? It did it, it in the series. Why not do that? Or, yeah. This film was confusing, and also, it had too many villains, like, I don't mind the max, the, if you're gonna have a maximum of villains, it's supposed to be two, but you do not to have, need to have three villains. No, sorry, four villains, because, man, too much villains, the plot was just mad, in my opinion, it got so many cliffhangers, it got a cliffhanger, which I, did not like why they ended with a cliffhanger. I Are was really, very Hi. just unnecessary. And yeah, Bummer. overall, this film did oh. not do so well Spider for Man me. Grounded? The first film did a little uh, bit better than this. I mean, I, I, I mean, just add more scenes next time, okay? Hey, buddy. Let's get on to the conclusion. Honestly, this movie could have been better if it didn't have that unnecessary cliffhanger if they fixed the pace and didn't have too much villains. Like, it could have done better if I left us with an unnecessary ending. Like, I wanted more scenes. I wanted to see what happened with Spot. How are they going to defeat him? How are they going to bring Miles around back in the universe? Like, I want to see more Miles scenes, baby. They're pretty good. Eat it up with a cliffhanger. Like, man, I didn't like this <laughs> film. I feel like the pacing was pretty up. That unnecessary cliffhanger. I think we need more scenes. And too many villains. Uh, too many villains. You got O'Hare. You got Vulture. And you got the spy. You got Aaron from the universe. And Miles Morales. No one has the problem. But, you I'm gonna be, this might be harsh, but lucky. I'm giving this movie Yellow a 5 out of 10. This film did what not did so do well for me. This movie is the, probably might be the worst anime film in my opinion of 2023. On, no, Just go watch the Mario movie in my opinion. This film did whoop. And I did not like all these scenes. I'll take it from here. But what's your opinion on the film? That is my Miles opinion. Put your Spider comments down below. Probably be like... Okay, I'll give it like a 6 out of 10. Just be a little nice to it. 6.5 out of 10. I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10. Anyway. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later in the next video. Don't worry. Elemental review coming soon. And I might have a positive opinion.